Hey everybody, welcome back to the Disney Plus Liberty Challenge, and today we have Marvel Rising Heart of Iron. This is listed as a movie, and it technically is, but it's more like a one-hour TV show. It's actually 45 minutes. This is if it was on D the Disney Channel with uh, commercials. So it uh, runs 45 minutes, and uh, it's from 2019, just last year. This is one of a series of Marvel Rising uh, movies, little mini movies, uh, animated, fully animated, uh, featuring a number of young teenage characters, uh, most pro mostly centered around Squirrel Girl and uh, Ms. Marvel. Uh, we watched the first Marvel Rising a little while ago, last year. Yeah, it has to be last year. We've only been doing this for a little over a year. So, yeah, we did the first Marvel Rising, and yeah, it showed them interacting with new heroes, new villains, uh, Captain Marvel, uh, Hala, uh, which is a Kree warrior, Kim Raver, uh, she was, used to be on 24 and a bunch of other things. She, uh, she plays Captain Marvel. Um, Hala is played by Ming-Na Wen. Uh, you would know her as, uh, as, um, on <laughs> Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the, cal the cavalry, uh, yeah, and, uh, May. Uh, on the Calvert Calver, uh, on Agents of Shield, and uh, most recently as Fennec Shand on The Mandalorian, and of course she's Mulan from the animated film. Uh, she plays the bad guy, and she's not the only Agents of Shield character on here. Daisy Johnson, uh, Quake, uh, played uh, by uh, Chloe Bennett, she's also on here as well as playing Quake. So she's a a real she's she's playing the character between real life and animated. It's, uh, as far as I know, the only one to do that re until recently. We got Boba Fett. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, well, no. Sorry. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> who, who just came over? Sorry, Ahsoka. Mm. Man, I am out of it today. It's, 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 a, it's a crazy new year. Um, so, yeah, we had uh, Squirrel Girl and uh, Ms. Marvel and a whole host of other characters. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got Inferno, we got Patriot, we got Ghost Spider, which is Spider-Gwen, uh, originally. Um, and they're all teaming up, they're all working together, and they meet a new girl named Riri Williams, who is Ironheart, which is here right here. She's the one who's built her own uh, suit of armor, much like Iron Man's, and uh, she even builds one that looks exactly like it, except for a few minor details, and uh, she uh, uses it to help save her friends. But things go a little wrong when uh, Hala decides to um, steal the power source or whatever to, to take back to her planet, to the Kree homeworld. Well, guess what? Uh, everything goes wonky. Captain Marvel gets a little ticked off at uh, Daisy's team getting in the way, and uh, the team must redeem themselves by trying to figure out who this mysterious new Iron Man is, and uh, what they can do to stop uh, Hala from destroying Central Park. They use actually use real Central Park locations in the animation, so it's kind of neat. The bridge and the that whole thing. Yeah, so it's a uh, kind of neat. Yeah, it's it's a fun little adventure, very much uh, aimed towards teens, young teens, uh, especially those who just love the Marvel universe. But you want something that uh, also appeals to girls because there's a lot of girl female characters in this. Uh, not to say that they can't enjoy the regular MCU. I have a niece who has seen every single uh, MCU film, and she's a teenager, or she was until recently. But <laughs> she, uh, she and one of her friends watched all the movies, and she's only one of three nieces. But hey, you know, I'll take what I can get. Anyway. Um, she, uh, this, uh, this would be more appealing probably to her if she was maybe 12 or 13. Uh, I don't know if she's ever seen these, but who knows. But uh, if you are, if you have somebody who's uh, young and really into, into Marvel superheroes, and especially if they're female, and they want to see heroes that look and act and uh, like them, and they don't have to just live through watching Tony Stark or Thor or... Bruce Banner or Captain America. Uh, oh, speaking of which, America is also in this. Um, she's going to be fairly important coming up in the regular MCU. So, 
yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, introduction uh, to these things. If you're not reading the comics, these characters all exist in the comics. Um, but some of these kids, if you watch some of these cartoons, you might have a little heads up on what these characters are all about when they enter the MCU. So America has already been cast, and uh, we already know Daisy and let's see Ms. Mar Ms. Marvel. Ms. Marvel has her own show coming up. So yeah. And we've seen Ghost Spider in uh, Into the Spider-Verse with Miles Morales. So yeah, this touches all that stuff. It's kind of neat. So yeah, it's, it's it's your standard, you know, action-adventure. Squirrel Girl is still my favorite. I loved her comic. Comic, highly recommend the comic. Uh, it's, it does, it's not running right now, but uh, you can collect, get the trade paperbacks or the collections, and uh, they are worth every single penny. It's so freaking good. Um, yeah, so uh, if you get a chance, check out the Marble Rising things. We went from the first one, this is like the third one, I think. Um, the one that introduces Ghost Spider is like the second one, so we missed that one. We'll eventually get to that one eventually when it chooses it for us. Uh, but other than that, yeah, there's a, there's like three more after that, I think, two or three more. It's a it's a bunch. They, they keep making keep making these things. So, yeah, I, I recommend it, especially if you got uh, kids who are who want more, more, more Marvel, more Marvel shows. I think they get a real kick out of it, boys or girls. Because, yeah, Squirrel Girl, again, like I said, she's hilarious in this. She's played by, uh, i got to say her name right, uh, Milana, Milana Vaintrub. You might recognize her from certain cell phone commercials. Um, and she was in that, it, in, she was being considered for the actual live-action Squirrel Girl and the New Warriors TV show, I think. That was the big rumor, but since she was actually doing this, that might have been a false rumor. But that's a show that never actually came to came to be. She would be great in no no matter what, but uh, yeah. I, there's somewhere out there, there's some costume fittings or behind the scenes shots that have never surfaced yet, but need to. So I think it'd be, a, be interesting to see. So yeah. Uh, Marvel Rising, Heart of Iron, you've got a lot of these to choose from to tide you over to the next Marvel movie release. But uh, yeah, Heart of Iron introduces Riri and her version of the Iron Man armor. So, All right, I think that pretty much sums it up. I think it's time to pick tomorrow's episode. 286. 286. <clears throat> If you're new to this, this, by the way, this is all randomly selected. I don't know what I'm going to get from day to day, and this is one of the most exciting parts of it because I, I'm, I get a number and I scroll through the list and I find out what it is. And 286 is something I don't even know what it is. It's a, uh, it's another documentary type thing. Odds are it's from National Geographic. Um, 286 is Kingfishers. I'm going to guess it involves fish. I'm a genius like that. Kingfishers, or kings, maybe. I don't know. I really doubt that. Kingfishers. I uh, imagine it's either a single or a series. Well, if it's a series, we'll watch maybe one or two episodes, but uh, we'll see. Kingfishers on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow.